In this video Lou Belmar will give you the instructions on how to make your first 10000 a month when you are a brokey and don't have the big money to start a business. Take notes and take action. There's three different verticals. The first one, the easiest one, services. Now, services require something called sweat, time, manpower. Usually, it's your manpower. It's your sweat and it's your time. Most of you guys right now are broke. You don't have a ton of crazy skills, but you have sweat, AKA your ability to work. You got time, you got plenty of time, and you have manpower. You have the ability to do something. Sweat, time, and manpower is your secret weapon to get started when you don't have anything. Let me give you an example as to what would be a place where you can implement your service. So we are talking the first path for you to make money is with services, right? So if you're broke, right off the bat, you can do five to 10 different services that would get you paid regardless of what you were doing. But the first one, anything that has to do with landscape or pool repair service or pressure washing uh, streets or garages and things of this nature. All of these are services that require sweat, time, and manpower, but not a lot of skills. But they are still a necessary element. They are still a necessary element. Why is this important? This is important because the first thing that you need is your ability to make money, right? Your goal is to make money as soon as possible. So you need to start by doing businesses and being in niches where your output is in direct correlation with your input and where the risk and return, right? The risk that you're attributing versus the return is very well balanced to whereas you're never gonna lose money. Because when you don't have money, a lot of people wanna do risky business, right? They want their money to grow really fast. You need to learn and understand the fundamentals of business. When you're running services, you understand customer service, you understand customer experience, you understand uh, customer lifetime value, how, how to treat an individual in order to continue supplying their needs, right? Because you're providing a continuous service. Therefore, you have to continue to, uh, to prove yourself on a regular basis. Ideally, you want a service that is on a subscription or a service that has a, that has a return customer relationship. You do not want to be doing one-off services like, I don't know, shoe cleaning. Something where people won't come back for a really long time. Or... Uh, something with a low, a low user base. I don't know, but you want to be on high intensity, uh, high customer base, returning customer base services. That is the first thing, uh, you should be doing. You should not be thinking about investing. You need to be thinking about the fundamentals of business, right? Because this is going to teach you the basics to everything. That's how that's all the first businesses that I started were service-based businesses, ba businesses where I offered a service on a monthly package, whether it was doing marketing for restaurants, whether it was whatever it may be, we had these monthly retainers with people and we learned the importance of services and high quality products, meeting our KPIs, meeting our deadlines and utilizing other people's dime to learn the craft. This is the easiest way to get out, services.